the next topic of the anterior triangle of the neck is the ansa cervicalis or it is also known as the ansa hypoglossi the ansa cervicalis is a thin nerve loop which is located in the anterior wall of the carotid sheet you know that the carotid sheet has two walls one is the anterior wall and the posterior wall and here you can see this is the ansa cervicalis which is a thin nerve loop located at the anterior wall of the carotid sheet and this nerve loop which extends towards the lower part of the larynx mainly it gives branches to supply the infrahyoid muscles now let us discuss about the formation of the ansa cervicalis in detail the ansa cervicalis is formed by the superior roots and inferior root the two roots join to form a nerve loop and if you see the formation the superior root is the continuation of the descending branch of the hypoglossal nerve this is the hypoglossal nerve which gives off a descending branch but the fibers of the descending branch of the hypoglossal nerve are derived from the ventral ramus of c1 so the fibers from the ventral ramus of the c1 joins the hypoglossal nerve the same fibers comes out through the hypoglossal nerve as a descending branch of the hypoglossal nerve to form the superior root of the ansa cervicalis and this root descends over the internal carotid artery and the common carotid artery finally it joins with the inferior root to form the ansa cervicalis now let us talk about the formation of the inferior root of the ansa cervicalis the inferior root is also called as the descending cervical nerve is derived from the second and third spinal nerves that is the ventral ramus of c2 and c3 here you can see the ventral ramus of the c2 as well as the ventral ramus of the c3 gives off fibers to form the inferior root of the ansa this inferior root of the ansa cervicalis descends down where it winds round the internal jugular vein and then continues to join the superior root in front of the common carotid artery so just remember here ansa cervicalis is the combination of the superior root as well as inferior root which means the nerve loop is called as the ansa cervicalis now talking about the distribution of the ansa cervicalis the superior root gives off only one branch where it gives innervation to the superior belly of homohyoid muscle and the loop itself that is the ansa cervicalis itself gives off three branches to the three muscles that is sternohyoid sternothyroid and the inferior belly of homohyoid muscles and the inferior root does not give any muscular branches so remember here there are totally four branches muscular branches which are arising from the ansa cervicalis one is from the superior root and three are from the ansa cervicalis itself the superior root is giving a branch to the superior belly of homohyoid and the ansa cervicalis gives off three muscular branches one is sternohyoid second is the sternothyroid and third one is the inferior belly of the homohyoid muscle note that the thyrohyoid and geniohyoid 
are supplied by the separate branches from the first cervical nerve through the hypoglossal nerve and they are not a part of ansa cervicalis.